exacting demands not only on others, but also on the self. Though her divinity is vanished, and the throne of the Archon is no more, Farina will go down in Fontaine's history as a god of justice worthy of recognition. A bard must be versed in both music and song, but a stage performer requires far more skills than just these. Hey, don't you think we should invite her over to put on a show at the next Windbloom Festival? Huh? You want me to talk about how she saved Fontaine? Well, I mean, she's such a talented artiste, it's no wonder. I wouldn't be surprised even if she'd saved the entire world. For five centuries, I dueled the Raiden Shogun in my personal realm of consciousness to confirm the steadfastness of my will. <laughs> Yet this Farina you speak of, though possessing only a frail human body, committed herself to acting out her part every second of every day for 500 years. A true battle of the spirit. Her willpower has indeed reached the level of a god. People often say that wisdom isn't about what you know, but knowing what you can change. It is beyond question that the prophecy was carved into Ermin so long ago. And while it may look like nothing has changed, it also seems like everything has. I think we both know her to be smart enough to turn the fate of the world around. Now the curtain has finally fallen on her performance. The character she portrayed was an imaginary one, yet in playing that role she fulfilled her duties. Though she is meek and full of doubt by nature, she was able to use madness to stiffen her resolve and see her duty through to its conclusion. The work that she has done over the centuries is truly immense. If she were to ever make a return to the stage, I should personally attend the performance and give her my heartfelt applause. Yes, I must do so when the opportunity arises. Nothing will stop me from rendering judgment on each of the seven. As the Archon who won the authority of Geo, Deus Ori must be called to trial. If one does not wish to see us on opposite sides of a conflict, they need not worry, for I intend to stay in Fontaine for the foreseeable future, which could well mean another 400 years. As another point of consolation, even when the trial eventually takes place, it is still not a given that the judgment will lead to a physical confrontation. I shall fulfill my vow to judge all of the Seven in turn, even if the sky should fall and the ground give way. As the recipient of the authority of Animo, the god of breeze and hope must also stand trial. Hmm? He spends most of his time being a harmless drunkard. <sighs> well, even so, I must meet him for myself and proceed from there. As a survivor of the dragon race who has regained my full dragonhood, I must fulfill my oaths and obligations, even if it means returning all the water in the oceans back to the heavens. In taking the authority of Electro, the Narukami placed herself on the list of the usurpers. She will... Oh. You say she has isolated herself in the plane of Euthymia, and now rarely appears in public. Then I shall pay her a visit in another few centuries. Though the day will come when I put her on trial, I must commend the god of verdure on her sense of responsibility. Few things are without flaws in this world, but the devotion and benevolence she displays are a testament to her commitment to continued progress. I felt enormous regret when I learned of the mistreatment she has endured over the past five hundred years.
monocled and but a few seconds.
most importantly, they pay their writers on time. Adventure team, assemble! Or not.
your best choice. Thank you. 